right, hey guys, this is Brian with Thunder Laser. Um, this is going to be a quick acrylic test using this light object engraving air assist enhancer. Um, I do have this mounted, and on my system, I am running um, a separate line for high and a separate line for low. And I have not crimped the bottom yet. I want to the the tip of it. I want to I want to try it like it is first. Um, so let me go over to the center monitor for a minute. What I've got is, let me move that up. Okay, it is moved. Let me update the overlay. Um, so I've got two little designs here, and the only difference between them is one of them, the air assist, is on high, and one of them, it's on low. The high stage is going to be the nozzle, the stock nozzle, uh, like all the thunders come and the uh, blue one is going to be low stage which is going to go to the enhancer so let me switch over to the uh, main cam for a minute and so for the purpose of this uh, experiment I've actually uh, opened both of my valves all the way I want to take these out of the equation um, you can wiggle them and sometimes the pressure changes a little bit when you go to lock them down there's a little bit of variance here they're not super super high precision so I want to just open them wide open because my idea or what I need to have happen is I need the same pressure going to both nozzles so I can accurately uh, compare them so what I'm gonna do is use the regulator to affect that so on the normal nozzle I'm getting exactly one psi right now and on the low side, I'm getting 0.1, but I feel a very, very strong air curtain running right under that nozzle, which is what I want uh, to help mitigate any uh, smoke and stuff getting on the lens. So we're going to try this and see how it works uh, with the same static pressure set going into both. And the only difference will be that one engraving, the one on the left, will use the stock nozzle, and the one on the right will use the uh, laser uh, enhancer, uh, engraving enhancer nozzle. So I've sent that over, and let me go back over to the center channel. Sorry, I don't have my remote to switch cameras. i got to keep coming back to the thing. So we've got that file sent over. Uh, there it is. We'll call it up. And let's see what happens. And this is the nozzle coming straight out of this, the factory nozzle. I'm running 1.3 PSI right now. The difference, the main difference you're seeing in the PSI, and normally I surface engrave uh, while I'm looking at this. I am going a little bit deeper this time. I want to try to make more uh, debris and, uh, you know, kind of dirty it up really good so I can see a, a real good difference. So um, the reason you see the pressure changes is the orifice uh, is different. The orifice in the nozzle is two millimeters and uh, the one on that other one is three, three and a half. It's uh, quite a bit bigger so it moves more air. Uh, when I crimp it, um, I'm liable to see a difference if I crimp it. I'm gonna have to see how this one performs. And I just went 500 on the speed, uh, 20 on the power. This is 80 watt, Nova 35. And there is a lot of haze. I'm, I'm going pretty deep. Normally I just surface some gray, but there is quite a bit of haze. And my pressure is at 0.6. It's uh, trying to catch up. That little Cali air kicked back on. And it's maintaining it at a half a PSI. And I notice as the pressure goes down that, in fact, and of course we knew this, it looks like the uh, debris and the, the residue is lessened. And I think a lot of it is because the nozzle is blowing that air directly down into the engraving. And it's like stomping in the mud puddle. It just splashes right back up and gets on everything. So I'm hoping that this... Uh, little extension this uh, engraving enhancer uh, will help with that and I may have to play with the angle 
Uh, right now, I don't have it where the, the air actually blows across the material, at least not directly. Um, it's actually blowing just a little bit across it. I'm, I'm hoping enough of it will blow across the material to be able to keep that stuff off of there. So I'm, it's finishing up the text on that one side. It's hard to see in the video right now, but I'll clean it up and we'll look at it. I probably could have made the lettering a little bit smaller. Okay. Here we go. Let's see if this thing makes a difference. Oh boy. Oh boy. Not as much contrast, but maybe when they're clean, the contrast won't be so different. I think the one on the left has so much powder residue on it and all that chalky mess that it looks more contrasting than it actually is. So we'll be able to determine that better after we clean it. But there is zero residue being left behind using this other nozzle. I'm actually pretty impressed. And I'm showing a zero PSI. And that's just because uh, it's flowing so well. But clearly there is air flowing because I don't see one puff and you can see toward the rear where the deposit is uh, on the material it is leaving a trail but it's going toward the back and you're engraving over it again and that's the whole idea that's why I want it blowing from front to back and that's why we scan uh, at zero degrees uh, the scan angle on this So there is some residue. The contrast, uh, at least uncleaned, looks rather different. But the resultant output, the design itself, is far cleaner than the other one. And I will get... Uh, good pictures, uh, close-ups of this uh, before and after the cleaning. And I may even stick it under the USB scope and have a look. So I'm going to cut this off because I am going to have to do some post-editing on this one because I want to add in the pictures and things. I can't just... Uh, publish this after I get done recording. So I'm going to go ahead and stop it here and then I will add the uh, resultant output and images and, and things like that in the article. More to come. Thanks.